All right, gang, we'll see you a bit later. Shaquille O'Neal found it in his heart to forgive Dennis Rodman a few days at casino gambling under the guise of working out personal problems. But apparently, he hasn't let go of how Patrick Ewing sorted out union brotherhood matters. Last week, Shaq was quoted being critical of Ewing for the deal he negotiated with the NBA. Ewing didn't dignify the criticism with a response other than, I'll see him on Sunday. Workers of the World Unite in L.A. Oh, the Cuba story's later. Second half, Kurt Thomas, Dennis Rodman, they're going at it. Rodman is pretty much Switzerland here. He's totally neutral. Not really doing anything wrong, but he's dragged down by Thomas. Kind of a hockey fight deal. Pull the shirt over the head. Rick Fox gets a tee for the shove. Thomas thrown out. And then Ewing and Rodman get into it. Ewing, the push. He gets the foul and a tee for arguing. They cold tee to a Billy Hunter, and I get this. Fourth quarter, Lakers up three. Shaq into Chris Dudley. Dudley takes exception and picks up the ball and drills Shaq in the butt. We look at it again to see how women 18 to 24 feel about the play. They're offended. Pretty good throw by Dudley, but it's very similar to how he shoots free throws. We found somebody who shoots free throws worse than Shaq in this game. Dudley's tossed. Back to the game. Lakers up seven. Derek Harper spotted. Kobe had 29, by the way, not pictured in the Lakers win. Obviously mistaking the Rodmonian for Shaq in the late going. The Knicks intentionally fouled him. But he hit four free throws in clutch time, five of six for the game, plus 12 boards. One of the L.A. fans appeared to be wearing a Breathe Right strip. Another one looked like Barbara Streisand, but it wasn't her.